sé. Buenas tardes, Amarante. I'm gonna sell the place. This field's dying of thirst. Everybody else is sold out. Did they say you could use the water? It must have come loose when I kick it. I ought to shut it off, huh? Maybe I'll sleep on it. Water issues in the West have gained mythic proportions that have captured the imaginations of writers and filmmakers. Water has been the source of controversy, heated debate, and legal battles for over a century. In the 1860s, Colorado became the first state to provide for the orderly distribution of water. Ironically, it was the miners in Colorado that pushed and made the first diversions from the stream so they could use that water to wash away uh, the topsoil so they could get at minerals. And rather than have miners fight with each other over who had the right to water, the states came in and said the first miner in line was the first one that could use the water up to their legitimate amount. That system was then conveyed, of course, to farmers uh, and irrigators as we settled the bottom lands near the streams. From the earliest days of the state's development, it was discovered that water was overallocated, forcing Colorado to pioneer the prior appropriation system. This introduced the concept of first in time first in right, which granted top water privileges to the earliest users. At the time of water shortages, Colorado water law determines the length of time and the amount of water appropriated to each user. It's a little bit like a kindergarten teacher uh, having 15 kids out on a field trip uh, and they're all thirsty and the way to maintain order at a drinking fountain is to give them each a little chit that tells them what number they are in line and how much they can drink. It's a very good law in that the, the earliest in time has the best rights. Those people that filed first for the water have the senior rights and those are the last rights to be shut off. When stream flows cannot provide for all water users, a call is made for water administration under a call, junior rights are curtailed to provide enough water for senior rights. Offices of the state engineer monitor stream flows throughout the state and help referee when and how calls are made. Working in the field, water commissioners act like water cops to police water use by controlling flows. Today we're on, uh, on Elk Creek, and it's the senior right on the, on the stream. If this structure would call for the water, the first thing I would do would be to come to their measuring flume and read the staff gauge. Then I would look in my tabulation, and then it would tell me then how far down I would have to go to find my junior water right that I must curtail. And then I would, I would curtail that or shut it off and do it all the way down until I had the quantity of water that was necessary to fill this full priority on this ditch. Urban population growth and irrigation for agriculture are the primary water users in Colorado. Other allocations for energy development, recreation, and the environment must be balanced by careful administration. The Shoshone Power Plant on the Colorado River in Glenwood Canyon holds one of the most senior, major water rights in Colorado, dating to 1905. Water used to generate electrical energy spins turbines through the force of the water, which is then returned to the river. Though it is non-consumptive, this industrial water use is influential in the state's water system by commanding a senior appropriation. The next major right on the river is a collection of rights in the Grand Valley known as the Cameo Call. Mel Reddick is a western slope farmer who draws water from the Orchard Mesa Irrigation District, which takes a share of the Cameo water right. 
We're allotted so much water per acre. Uh, our water right for the year amounts to about six acre feet per acre per year. In the summertime, uh, that one acre foot per acre is actually not enough to meet our crop demands because in July, when the weather is hot, our evapotranspiration rates can be from three tenths of an inch up to even a half an inch of water a day. Environmental and recreational rights are relative newcomers to the water rights system. Both are non-consumptive uses that nonetheless require prescribed in-stream flows.